started my morning with some sourdough, some coffee, and then I went straight into German vocab. Look at us go, start of a new week. It feels really good to not have to go anywhere and just be able to focus on school. I've done an hour and a half of German. I finished up my computer science assignment, so feeling productive. I have my German class in about five minutes and then gonna keep going with my day. I have it all blocked out on Google Calendar as I usually do, which is nice. Simultaneously motivated and unmotivated. Motiv Motivated because it feels good to do stuff that I like and unmotivated because I am having senioritis and I do feel like just very done with undergrad. It's hard to feel like you have purpose right now, honestly. I went to my German lecture and then I did some shopping for my grandparents. I saw them before their vaccine, which was cool. Then I came home and had some lunch and went to pragmatics and there was a new batch of provincial health orders announced, but it doesn't really change anything that I'm doing. Then I worked out and did some work. So my grandparents got vaccinated today. They got the Pfizer vaccine. It is such a relief. And here's a picture of them just looking so cute. I was actually watching some of the vlogs today and like a year ago this week, that was when I first stopped going to my grandparents' house for dinner for the first time. Even though it's taken a whole year to make like some real progress for their safety, it's a step in the right direction and it's really exciting. I worked on lab tasks for a while and then I went to my computer science class. I'm honestly feeling really sleepy. I didn't have a good sleep last night. So I was dreaming about statistics. So what I'm gonna do is that I have scheduled out an hour and a half for my break. So I'm just gonna take a nap and then I'll eat dinner. Made some beans, tempeh and toast for dinner. And then I just worked on German for like six hours, like, Literally. I've been studying for German. I am super tired at this point, so I think I'm gonna go to bed and then study more in the morning. Studied German as soon as I woke up and was feeling tired. Finished all like the review that I wanted to do. I still don't feel completely confident about it, but it's okay. I'm just gonna jump into it. We have the reading assessment and then the written test. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the reading one and then go into the test and I'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm done. Isn't that bad? All of the studying that I did paid off because I felt confident with everything. So I guess I'm just gonna wait for the grade to come back. It'll probably come back in like 10 days. So we'll see, but it's over and that's what matters. I worked on my lab tasks for a while before it was time for semantics class. Class is over and today is actually the first day of the biking season. We're going on our first ride. I am. My dad's done several this year. It starts today, so here we go. So here we go. Me and my dad went to White Cliff and it was actually really fun. Like I felt like I hadn't lost too much of my strength over the winter where I hadn't been riding and it was really sunny. Got home and had pizza, which was yummy. And then I worked with my semantics groups and then did my stats assignment. Finally finished that stupid data course, it's over. So essentially there's like a capstone project and it needs to be peer reviewed. I just like posted on like a discussion forum being like, please review it. I will hopefully get everything like graded by the end of the week so we can send in the certificate and stuff. The thing that's like annoying about this is that they guarantee your like quote unquote grade by April 28th, but I'm like, okay, I need it by April 6th. And it makes fucking sense, but it's okay. I just wanna get into this program, so hopefully this is enough. Started to make a new loaf and then got my certificate for the stats course. Okay, so somehow everything got miraculously reviewed overnight and I passed the stats course and I'm done. I sent it off to the MDSCL program. I just like also added a note being like, when am I gonna hear back? Now I'm just doing preliminary research for my uh, pragmatics final paper. Um, I've been doing horrendous in that course. And by horrendous, I mean average. It sucks starting papers, you know? Cause you're like, I literally have nothing to work off of versus like coming back to it after working on it to a bit is so much better. I'm trying to start like all the final things in the next couple of days and over the weekend. So I'm also starting my final philosophy paper and then we've already started our final semantics project. I have like a final German project but she hasn't really announced or talked about it yet. Probably gonna be making another video. I'm excited. I am pretty tired still. Even though things have been easier in terms of location, I'm still 
still working till like 1 a.m. every night, which sucks. Tomorrow's technically the last day of the week because of the long weekend, which is like an immense relief because I think I'm just totally recovering from a burnout. Literally, I think my burnout happened last Thursday and I was like, oh my God, like I need some time. I started the morning by going to German class and then I worked out for a bit before getting lunch and then I went to pragmatics. Then I had a meeting with my semantics prof and he was super interesting. It was a good meeting. And then Turner came over and he's literally wearing shorts in 10 degree weather. I had my computer science class and then we went over to pick up food from my grandparents. That's the fleece he's wearing. And then we just walked to a grocery store on Davy Street and then we came home and watched some YouTube. And then after we watched YouTube, we ordered Mexican food. I got a taco with cactus in it. It was really cool. Then we just watched some Netflix. And then in the next morning, I baked some bread. Good morning. So I did a full face of makeup. I want to feel pretty. I don't know if it's working. I look nice in the mirror, but then when I see myself on the camera, it kind of washes me out in the mirror. I look a lot warmer. Last day of the school week, and then I have a four-day weekend, which is nice. I plan on resting, working. I expect to hear back from the grad program soon because I sent in that stupid stats course. Honestly, if I don't get it in and they made me do that, I'm going to throw a riot. <laughs> I am doing a follow-up interview with Rory in the morning and then I have some bread baking. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because it seemed a little weird. I'm hoping it turns out okay because it's supposed to be for Elsie and I'm hoping that I can give her some bread. I'm fucking shaking. <laughs> I didn't even realize Turner was in the background until he freaked out and he stood up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. What the fuck? <laughs> I like, they sent you an email like yesterday being like, we can't let you know at this time. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I got into my program. Oh, excellent. Mom, Saffron got into that master's program. Oh my God, we are very happy. Mama says she's very happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I just found out. Very happy, dear. Thank Thank you. Love you more than anybody in the whole world. So, fantastic <laughs> program starts. It starts at the beginning of September. I see. Really Ten months. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. What's going on? I got into the program. <gasps> oh my God! I'm so happy for you. Did you submit that you finished the course? Or? Yeah, oh, I did. Yes, I submitted it yesterday. It <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so I'm so happy for you. I went into the park to take some pictures after I got the good news and then I came back and Turner left. Then I was just doing some homework for a bit. I also had my grandparents curry for lunch, which was yummy. Forgot to film it, but I just had my semantics class. This is the loaf of bread I baked Elsie. She's coming over to pick it up, and I think we're gonna go for a walk, so it'll be nice to get out of the house. Still good. Obviously, we got some good news today, which is nice. Weather predicted it to rain, but it didn't, which was nice, so I went on my walk with Elsie, and it was really warm, actually. Then I got home, and we ordered meat for dinner to celebrate, and I even had a glass of Prosecco, and I kind of just took the evening off just to rest a bit, and also because I was celebrating some good news. On Friday, I did a bit of work in the morning. I edited my sister's essay. I also edited the vlog and did some lab tasks before having a nice lunch. So I did some vlog editing. I'm doing some work for my lab. And later today, we're going on a bike ride. We're going to Steveston, trying to get 100 kilometers in. So I had a nice big brunch and hopefully that'll keep me sustained for this ride. So we went on the ride. We went through UBC to get to Iona Beach. And then from Iona, we went into Richmond a little bit. We saw a coyote, which is cool. I got so tired around 60 kilometers in and the last 40 were really hard. I was tired. The ride was hard, honestly. I managed to dress enough to stay warm but it was hard because I haven't ridden that far for like seven months or something. I'm in shape but when you're riding those distances and you're not used to it it does hurt so I'm glad to be home and showered and resting again. My dad made a farinata which was super tasty and he also made pasta. He's getting really good at it and then Turner picked me up and we did a night drive back to his house. 
When we got there, I got to play a bit of GTA and we also watched Finding Nemo, which was a bit of a throwback. On Saturday morning, we got ready for our hike and we drove out to Bunsen Lake and we just did the loop of the entire thing. It was raining a little bit, but not hard enough for it to be uncomfortable or anything. So yeah, it was really fun. We got about 10 kilometers done and I was really tired at the end of it, so I sky trained home. I had some coffee and then me and my mom went out to get my pants hemmed and she had some that she wanted hemmed and we were uh, admiring this little puppy and we also admired all the cakes that are at Safeway right now. They're so pretty. Then I did some computer science and also I had dinner. I started my comp sci, which I'm happy about, but I just like feel really distracted and cold and I want to take a bath, so I'm gonna do that and just keep working on it after. The bath was good and I kind of just relaxed afterwards. I did get some work done though. In the morning on Sunday, I just, made my bed and tried to clean my room a little bit just to make me feel a little less stressed out. I also painted my nails Easter themed and did some research for pragmatics. I think I have a better idea of what I want to write on for pragmatics, but I haven't actually gotten much done in terms of the actual writing. I have over three weeks to get it done. I don't feel nervous about actually writing it. It's more like finding the topic and feeling interested in what I'm writing about. So I found something that I'm kind of interested in. I don't know if it's like enough to write like a 2000 word paper about. So, you know, I emailed her to confirm about it. So I'm taking steps in the right direction. It's just sometimes hard when you spend, like I just spent like an hour and a half doing a bunch of research and I still feel like really unsure. Time and time again, I know that these longer research sessions that don't really result in much tangible work are always beneficial, but it's really hard to not have something like on a document to look at that kind of affirms that you've done this work. Otherwise, I'm feeling productive today and I'm going to be moving on to do some comp sci. I was doing comp sci for a little bit and I also stopped to have lunch. Not really stopped, but ate while I worked. And then I also did some lab tasks with some fruit. I've been doing homework for a bit, but I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know, unmotivated. So I'm going to work out. I haven't left the house today, which isn't good because it's so sunny, but it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm just not feeling it today. So yeah, maybe I'll feel better after the workout. The workout was really good. I was completely exhausted afterwards. The workout's over. I'm feeling more of a, you know, a nice tired instead of a sad tired. It did exactly what I was hoping for it to do. And now I'm just about to work on my semantics project. That's what I have planned. I'm thinking I should get to starting my philosophy essay at some point tonight, but We'll see. I worked on semantics for an hour and a bit. It was really nice to be able to have like a assignment that allowed me to use the tablet and kind of draw out my thoughts and stuff like that. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And then my dad made a really good dinner. He was like falafels and I also had fruit for dessert and I just watched YouTube for a bit before getting to work on my philosophy. Um, it is truly very meta and philosophical. I read a 26 page paper that discussed near death experiences. I have like an outline for my essay now, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm hoping that this week I can be productive in general. I'm feeling upbeat right now and I'm going on another hike tomorrow, which is exciting. I had a pretty good week. It's nice to have the long weekend. So I have two weeks left of classes and I think the next two weeks are going to be pretty challenging in terms of workload, but I think that I'll be able to get through it. I'll just have to work really hard. It won't be long now until I'm done my undergrad. So the vlog that gets released on April 25th, that'll, and that's like two vlogs from now. That's gonna be like the one where I'm done undergrad. I'm gonna finish editing and I'm gonna get a nice sleep because I'm tired. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.